What is up guys, Bird Monster here with another commentary of Medal of Honor. Um, I'm playing Demolition game type. It's just like Demolition. It's not called Demolition, but it's the same uh, concept on uh, the marketplace. I am uh, Marine. I'm using the M4 Carbine Red Dot Silencer. So um, let's get this game started. Um, from watching this game, you'll see I did pretty good. And what I pretty much want to talk about today is camping and good strategy because there is a difference. Um, some people like to call what I do camping, but it's not much of camping. Camping would be, you know, you sit in the same spot all day and you just pick people off that don't figure out where you are. Now, um, some of what I'm doing right now is uh, camping. I am just chilling right here by this uh, one window which you could consider camping, but as you uh, further watch this video, you'll see I keep moving around. I'm pretty much um, staying in this one area near their spawn. I'm not just going to sit around and uh, camp by the window and let them walk by, I'm just going to kill them. I'm going to uh, play smart and how I should play um, and whatnot. <clears throat> um, I like the M4 Carbine, it's a pretty good gun, accurate, kills quickly, as long as you put the red dot on them. But, um, yeah. So, uh, this spot, if you're playing Marketplace, is a very good spot to stay. As long as you're, um, on top of everything and you always know where to check. Um, you'll see one time I kind of messed up and, um, I got killed, which you'll see. But for the most part, I did pretty good. Um, these kill, when I get my kill streaks, I usually always use the, um, like, uh, FMJ bullets and whatnot because... They help my team out, which it's quickly, you know, you just get it, call it in, and it's done over with. You don't have to pull out the goggles and aim and all that jazz. It's just quick, and um, it makes it a lot easier. Plus, you get points towards your next kill streak that way. But, um, yeah, if you are going to camp or um, in this area, not in just one spot, if you're just going to camp in one spot, then just watch the only way they can come. But if you're going to stay around this area, pretty much you want to watch... Um, Right behind me, I uh, ran the other way, so it wouldn't be a very good time to tell you guys. But right to my right behind this building is around where they were spawned. And on the other side of that building, you can kind of see that guy I just ran by there. That is their main um, spawning areas. I don't know how that didn't kill him or even wound him. But um, as you can see, I kind of took my eyes off of there for a second. This guy came, but luckily I stabbed him just in time. And I ran out of bullets with my previous gun, my M4. So I had to revert to picking up his sniper rifle. But as you can see, he spawned, dive. This is a relatively good place to uh, stay. Um, I do hate when people do this to me, but, you know, people do it to me, so why don't I do it back to them? It's only fair. Um, so if you are going to, like I said, stay in the area, make sure you stay on top of it. Always know where they're coming from and try to pick them off as quickly as possible. Help out your team with the kill streaks. Um, and personally for demolition this is one of the best ideas because your objective is to defend the two points i am defending them by not letting them get to them so you can call it camping you can call it cheating you can call it whatever you want but to me i don't see how it's either one i find it um good strategy in my way so i pick up his ak after i just stabbed him luckily um get a nice little triple kill up over here in a little bit I check over here. I don't think anybody comes. When I pop my head back over, boom. Three people. Very lovely. Very, very lovely. I was trying to go for a flawless, but um, it didn't really work out very good. I uh, kind of messed up right here. I was paying way too much attention to these two guys. Dude came up and destroyed me. But um, <clears throat> the main gun, like I said, is special ops. I'm not a big fan of noob tubes. Never really was. This isn't Call of Duty, so I'm not going to put on some Dings Close Pro with the Oma bag and run around just thumping people, because that's not how the real world is. You don't have a bag on your back that holds a bajillion noob tubes and has a 50 caliber in it as well. Oma's stupid. But um, the way this game is planned out is pretty good. As you can see, I called in one of my kill streaks, I called in another one, and they just keep coming like crazy. Um, if you save a kill streak that has a very high value, you'll just start banging kill streaks out, and it won't even uh, require any kills, pretty much. And it's just going to make you stronger with your flak vest, your uh, FMJ bullets, and the uh, extra ammo for your team. Plus, it makes your score go up higher for that exact class that you're using, and um, it kind of helps. I was pretty mad right here. If I wasn't reloading, I would have switched my pistol as soon as I probably would have killed him. 
but I gave him too much time to pull his AK, which once again got me killed. But um, for the most part, I did pretty good. Um, I called my kill streak, got me to another score chain of 50. That got me to another one, and I get shotgun blasted. Uh, the shotguns are pretty powerful in this game, so yeah. But that was the end of the game. We won. Uh, I think I did a pretty good job defending. I think I'm pretty much the only kid on my team that defended. Um, I did defend on their side of the field, but oh well, I didn't cross the line to where it says enter the battle area, so I couldn't have crossed it too far. Um, I did pretty good. 26-3, 985 points with a skill level of 2,183. I mean, if you look at the other people on my list, I kind of overpowered all of them. So I uh, hope you like this commentary. Subscribe. Peace.